Predict what each of these voltmeters will read. V1 up to V8. Pause the movie while you do that. Let's start by looking at the potential difference across a good conductor. So let's only focus on these voltage readings. V1, V4, V5, V7 and V8. In other movies we'll look at the other voltages. Each of these voltmeters is reading the voltage across a good conductor. So we need to understand what the potential difference will be across a good conductor. Let's use this analogy to help us. Here we have a battery connected by good conductors to two resistors a 1K and a 2K resistor. Every blue circle here stands for one coulomb of moving charge. These coulombs are moving around the circuit in the direction of conventional flow that you have to imagine. So the battery is pushing them around clockwise there. Each red line stands for one joule of electrical energy. The cell puts in energy. For every coulomb, it gives nine joules of electrical energy. So we can see that each coulomb exits with nine red stripes, nine joules for each coulomb, which is the same thing as nine volt. We can see that as these coulombs move through the good conductor, they don't lose any of those joules of energy. So the voltage at this point is still nine volts all along at every point 9 volt. But as the charges move through this resistor, out comes some of the voltage. 6 volts actually comes out, leaving them with only 3 volts, 3 joules each, 3 joules for every coulomb, by the time they have finished traveling through that conductor. As the charges move through this resistor, another 3 volts come out, so that each coulomb has 0 joules. Zero joules per coulomb, zero volts, by the time they finish going through the 1K resistor there. They return to the negative terminal of the cell with zero volts. Now to really understand this, we need to differentiate between two kinds of voltage, potential and potential difference. Both of them are voltage, meaning they both refer to energy per charge, which is measured in joules per coulomb, which is the same thing as volts. But potential refers to how much energy each charge has and it must refer to a point or along in a wire whereas potential difference doesn't refer to how much energy the charges have but how much has changed between two points. That change might be a loss or it might be a gain. How much energy each coulomb has lost between those two points or how much energy each coulomb has gained between the two points. So let's come back to what we had over here. This 9 volt, this 9 volt, this one and this one, they are all referring to potential. That is how much energy per charge is at the points shown. How much energy each coulomb has at those points. We can go count those red stripes. There are nine of them there. 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 That's why the potential at those points or in this Y is nine volts. Similarly, this is also a potential. And at this point, it's also got a potential of three volts. Three volts, three volts. The potential here is zero volts, zero volt, zero volt. These are all potentials. Let's use a slightly different color for potential difference. This is a potential difference. This is a potential difference. That's a potential difference. That is a potential difference. What does that mean? Potential difference tells you the change in the energy per charge between two points. So at this point they have nine volts. At this point they have three volts. Nine minus three equals six volts. Six volts has come out as the charges move through that resistor. At this point, 3 volts. At this point, 0 volts. The difference between them, 3 minus 0, 3 volts.
volts. Now let's look across the good conductors. If we put a voltmeter across there, what would it read? A voltmeter reads potential difference, not potential. It would feel 9 volts potential there. 9 volts potential there. And tell us the difference between the two. 0 volts potential difference. If we put a voltmeter across here, it would feel 3 volts there, 3 volts there. It would tell us the difference 3 minus 3, 0 volt. There has been no change in potential across those two points. If we put a voltmeter across here, it feels 0 volts, 0 volts. The difference is 0 volts. Another way of saying what I've just been saying is that all points joined by a good conductor are at the same potential. Here is a good conductor and every point along there is at the same potential, 9 volt. In other words, every coulomb has 9 joules of energy there. These points are all joined by a good conductor and they are all at the same potential, 3 volts. Every coulomb has 3 joules of energy. And these points are all joined by a good conductor, and they are all at the same potential, which is zero volt. Every coulomb has zero joules of electrical potential energy. Because of this rule, that all points joined by a good conductor are at the same potential, the potential difference across a good conductor must always be zero. Across there, zero volt difference. Across there, zero volt difference because it's three volt and three volt at both of the points I'm connecting. This one's obviously easy to see because potential difference refers to the change in energy per charge and a good conductor doesn't change the amount of energy that each charge has. It doesn't put energy in. It's not a battery or a cell. It doesn't take energy out. It's not a resistor. So the potential difference across a good conductor is always zero volt. So check what you had predicted for these values V1, V4, V7, V8, V5 and you should have said that all of them will have zero volts across them because they are all measuring across good conductors and the potential difference across a good conductor is always zero volt.